the Los Angeles Lakers are one win away from another NBA championship. And like I said before, LeBron is a shark and he smells blood in the water right now. Not for the first half, though. <clears throat> so game four was a little bit of a brutal offensive game for both teams, especially in the first half of the Lakers. LeBron had a lot of struggles. He had five turnovers in the first half. It almost looked like he was doing a repeat of what he did in game three, but he was able to bounce back much better in the second half, able to hit some big shots. You also saw the Lakers make a big adjustment on Jimmy Butler. He had 11 points in the first quarter and was getting to the rim at will once again. The Lakers basically played completely off of him. They played the Russell Westbrook type defense on him and begged him to shoot from the outside. And it worked for the most part. Jimmy Butler wasn't able to make the same impact on this game and they were going to make other people beat them. We also saw the Lakers start the first half with Dwight Howard at center and then he basically didn't play the rest of the game. And to me, I think the Lakers best lineup is when they have Markeith Morris on the floor paired with Anthony Davis it gives them the most spacing and Dwight Howard in this matchup I don't really know if he actually has a role in this series because the he basically only play one big and bam out of bio and he's so versatile and athletic I think he can take advantage of Howard and I think the Lakers knew that coming into this game so they played a lot of Anthony Davis or Markeith Morris at center having Davis at center also just gives them the spacing that they need it's Especially if they're going to play Rondo on the floor, you can't have both Rondo and Howard playing. At the end of the day, I think the Lakers made the right move taking Howard out in the second half. They basically already decided that JaVale McGee was not going to play in this series. And so taking Howard out, I think, was the right move. It was a strategic decision by Frank Vogel, who has seemed to be pressing all the right buttons this entire playoffs. And right now in the series down 3-1, it is not looking good for the Miami Heat. In order to come back in this series, they are really going to have to dig deep and try to see what they have, especially with Jimmy Butler. I mean, he has put everything on the line in this series, but he needs to be able to make shots from outside. I also really want to give credit to Bam Adebayo. He played really well in this game, and I don't think any of us have any idea how injured he actually is. But he played fantastic, especially for what he could do. And the fact that he's even come back in this series is a big deal. Also, the fact that Goran Dragic, with the torn plantar fascia, tried to warm up for the game. He wasn't able to play, but I mean, you could tell this Miami te Heat team just wants it. They really want to make a series out of this. And I still think they have a chance to maybe win another game. But as far as this series goes, I think it's pretty much over at this point. In fact, I think the Lakers will win in five and close it out. But going into game five, the Lakers do need to make some adjustments. They have to have more action in their half-court offense. I understand that a LeBron-led team is not going to be run, running the beautiful game and play like the San Antonio Spurs, but their half-court offense just seemed dead the entire game, and they still were able to eat in transition, which is where they're the best, but they have to be able to do more in the half-court offense, especially if Miami decides to go back to playing more zone. They just looked stagnant, and they didn't look like they knew what they wanted to do. And as far as the Heat go, again, they have to be able to find a way to be able to get Jimmy Butler looks in the paint, or he has to be able to be a willing shooter from the outside. I think also the Heat aren't going to have as bad of an offensive game they had tonight. This is one of their worst offensive games of the entire playoffs, so you expect that they're going to make more shots. But right now, it's looking pretty grim for them. I also want to give credit to LeBron James. He looked like he was having another off night in the beginning of this game. First half was pretty brutal with the five turnovers. Didn't have a lot of shots, but he ended up with 28, 12, and 8. And that's the thing with LeBron James. You think he's having a bad game with off night, and then you look up, and he almost has another triple-double. He also really established himself in the second half. He had a little bit of that look that he had against the Dallas Mavericks in 2011. I mean, the Heat were really trying to clog the pain against him. He was able to hit a couple of big threes, even one that actually didn't count, and was able to make the defense play a little bit more honestly. But yeah, LeBron has been fantastic, and I still think to this day we don't give him enough credit for what he's able to do and how he's able to just have complete control over the entire court. And the one thing I noticed in this game with the Miami Heat is that they didn't play as much zone in this game. Now, I think some of that has to do with the fact that 
They got Bam out of bio back, and he's someone who can help them with man-to-man defense, excellent on switches, one of the best young defenders in the league. But the zone was a big part of their win in Game 3, I think, and I'd be interested to see if they'll go back to playing more of it, and I think they should. Even though, at the end of the day, if you play zone, you're a coward. We have seen in this playoffs that teams can come back from down 3-1. It's already happened twice before. And the Heat definitely have the mentality where they're going to push as hard as they possibly can in games 5, 6, and potentially 7 to try to win this series. But I'm here to tell you right now that the Lakers will win game 5. The confetti will fall on them and LeBron James will have his fourth championship. But hey, anything can happen. So tune in for Game 5, and make sure after Game 5 to watch my reaction to that game as well. Thank you guys for watching this video. My name is Jimmy Seatman. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, Seatman Sports. Give this video a thumbs up, and make sure to comment on the video if you think the Lakers will finish this series in Game 5. And if you don't think so, feel free to tell me I'm an idiot. Thank you guys for watching. This is Seatman Sports.